Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone, and be welcome over here. Gotta do a very, 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 very important bit for retailers. So they can predict the Bitcoin price, especially in the weekends. Because I'm seeing a lot of tweets and a lot of posts, especially also from the retail fam. Uh, how much higher can Bitcoin go? When are we going to drop? Is it going to be a weekend drop? Is it going to be a weekend pump? What is going on? And a lot of low liquidity going on. And well, I'm going to show you guys something today that you all have to keep an eye on and have to really, really focus on. Because it could either save you from a lot of money or it can make you a lot of money. So I'm going to explain in details where to look for it and how to navigate through those charts. Because like I said before, enough is enough from getting wrecked, making the bad choices based on what CT is saying. You have to understand that CT, most of them are uneducated. They're very bad in charting, they're very bad in predicting, they're very good in marketing and getting into the minds of retailers. So that's what we're going to talk about today, guys. Bam! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's first of all start with the S&P. This is the S&P, guys. Everyone knows it. Everyone that watches my vids knows the S&P because I talk a lot about the S&P, the DXY, the NASDAQ, etc., etc. Why do I talk about these charts? Because they are related to the Bitcoin chart. Either you like it or not, they are related to the Bitcoin chart. So today I'm going to explain you guys in details something you will probably not find anywhere else so if you like this content please put on the like now share this vid share it wherever you are and educate so first of all i've been traveling past days so i've been missing a lot of data a lot of information uh, i saw on my twitter feed that putin talked about buy bitcoin instead of us dollar which was fake by the way so i hope this guy burns in hell that shared this and i really don't get it why x elon musk keeps restricting followers of me sharing truth and 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 and, and letting all these scammers sharing all this false information on x and they just keep doing it okay so let's dive right in guys this is the s p when you see the s p rumping up on friday so let me put it on the daily so you can see it so this is what this was the daily candle friday so this was friday most of the times what you see is well the nasdaq is pumping you see bitcoin also rising but not as much as the nasdaq at that at that moment so what happens is when you see the nasdaq really going up or the s p going up you can expect that bitcoin will probably in the weekend also go up this is something i'm doing research on so you can everyone can do this research himself so it's not so it's not so hard just go into the past and always look at the last daily candle of the s p and look at what bitcoin did the two days after in the weekend just go and check it go and check it all of you guys if you see something that's not like i'm explaining it comment please and i will reply to you so if we see this rise up on friday this is very beautiful you're seeing this s p is going bananas guys so is this this is a big bubble in my opinion i shared a lot about it this is just a big bubble and there will be a lot of blood coming out. This is just a bubble. If you let, let me put it on the weekly, guys. This is really madness because you have to just look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm, I'm going to count this one with it, this red one. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you put it on the Heikanashi candles, there is no red one. Now, a slightly red one. But this is, guys, this is madness. This is madness. When did we see? Let me let, let let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. When did we see 
the S&P making a 23% almost in, in, in just one, one wave. Let me put it on this one. How much was this one? This one was 20. So this one is even stronger. When was the last time that we saw something like this without any form of correction? Let me tell you, it hasn't been for a very while because these are all corrections that you see. This is a correction. Just really, I'm talking about this one maybe. Let me check this one. This one was 18%, so no. So when? Uh, this one was also with a correction. So when? This one was also a very nice rise over here. So how much was this one? This was also 18%. So guys, we can, and this is in 2018, guys, this is, look, this was a big move up. Let be, let us all be certain about this was a very big move up. But you see, as you can see, we go up, we come down a bit. We go up, we come down a bit. We go up, we come down, we come up, we come down a bit. But look at this, guys. There is no down here. It's really, this is just pure FOMO only up. I've been trading this a lot. And a lot of guys are asking me, explain us how you trade it on, with the indicator. Guys, I will do that in another video. Today, it's more about the combination with Bitcoin. So let me jump to let me jump to the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is madness. This the Nasdaq did make a bit of a, a retrace over here, but the move up was super strong. So for now, I'm guys i'm most of my time when i'm charting i'm on these charts these are my charts and these are the charts that make me a lot of money and could also make you a lot of money um because i'm going to in my trading course i'm going to get into details about these charts and how to combine them with bitcoin and how you can make super 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 big gains by predicting the bitcoin price especially now the spot etf has been has been approved so if you want to join us in the private uh, group there is a link below weeks i just made a nice tutorial about it and really a lot of people have joined us on weeks so the weeks community is really growing very fast also the 300 dollars refund is really a banger i'm getting so much so much dms about that it's really you're getting a second chance by trading no exchange offers that so if you want to join us there's an optg link below uh, you can join us there you can use the weeks or the maxi link below and well uh, just send me a dm on tg there's a section access to private group it's free by the way you don't have to pay nothing for this trading course or this private group just use the links below and you'll get in so for now how much higher can the nasdaq go because well, a lot of retailers are asking themselves, how much higher can Bitcoin go? I don't care about Bitcoin. I care about the Nasdaq. How much higher can the Nasdaq go? Because as long as the as Nasdaq is going up, Bitcoin will probably only also go up. I've explained it, by the way, in my Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin uh, crash vid made. I will, you can click on the link. It will pop up any moment. And there you will find what I explained. And I also said, because Bitcoin, let me go to Bitcoin, by the way, guys. Bitcoin was over here. And I was waiting to get back to the 35, 36K levels and the 32K levels. <coughs> but I also said, as long as the NASDAQ and the US markets will not make a healthy correction, Bitcoin cannot come down. It just can't. So it will probably just follow up and, well, we got this pop-up. I didn't expect it to be so str strong, this pop-up, by the way. But <coughs> I said it, if the markets, look, if, if this thing doesn't come down, <coughs> it's almost impossible for this one to come down. And that's something very important to understand and to know. And especially now with the spot ETF approved, this will happen. I've said it many times. So for now, how much higher can Bitcoin go? Well, Bitcoin made a nice rise up. So let me put it on the daily so we can see it better. Over here, we're just ramping up. We had this over here, this, uh, what was it? I made this like weeks ago, uh, one week ago, two weeks ago. Let me make it black so you can see it. So over here, this was the breakout. This So this was where Bitcoin started ramping up, broke out of this. 
triangle and then boom 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 but the, the move is super strong so how much higher can bitcoin go let me give you that answer because everyone wants to know that how in my opinion this is where bitcoin will stop so at this region so over here so what is this this is the 49.5 and the 48.6 so in this box uh, could it go even higher yes my uh, uh, ultimate target is 50 as you can see 51 50 so let's just say 52k 52k so if there will happen some so, so some very bullish news maybe we can hit even the 52k level but for me at this moment on the short term very short term this is where bitcoin will probably get some sellers and get some get some reje uh, rejections over here so at this region it's about so we're almost reaching there we oh, we did did we hit it no we didn't hit it yet so over here about uh, 48 8 so this is where i expect that bitcoin will get something of a pullback but but the markets will open tonight the futures markets will open tonight it you have to keep an eye what is this thing gonna do okay look if let me put it on the date if this thing um will start romping up here and just breaking up and up and up and up just expect bitcoin to do the same so the 52k will probably get hit but if this thing starts coming back down to this channel to, 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 to come back and retest the, the, the 17.4 or maybe even go lower, then you can expect also this chart to come back. So it's, it depends on the financial markets. We have been having a, a year of, of, of rest and, and, and the correlation was not there, but the correlation is back. I've been sharing this in my past vids. The correlation is back. So Wall Street is ruling over Bitcoin more and more past weeks. And that's something to keep an eye. So if you guys want to know where the, where the, where the resistance will be, in my opinion, over here. But that's for now. And when the markets open and, 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 and the Nasdaq starts rumping up, breaking this level over here, because as you can see, I've made you guys this to see. This is 18,000 is a level of resistance. So if the Nasdaq will break through the 18,000 and starts going up, you can probably expect Bitcoin to follow. But if the 18,000 will get rejected and will start coming back or retracing a bit, <coughs> that's also when you can expect Bitcoin to come down. So that's about that's about that. Let me go to. I've been sharing, by the way, guys, a lot of uh, an ETH thread, and I think all of you guys on Twitter should go and check that out because I've really compared link to Bitcoin, link to ETH, link to Solana, especially the Solana chart. Guys, you have to focus there. ETH is coming. ETH is coming. Let me show the Bitcoin dominance chart. Look at this, guys. We broke out of this channel. We came back up, resistance came down, support now we're up. So if this thing stops coming down from here, that's when you'll see that the ETH BTC pair will start to ramp up. It's going to happen. Uh, let me share that chart because uh, it, uh, let me I've shared it on my Twitter feed, but let me share it over here. Guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. So if we will reach this zone over here, everything in this in this zone is for me if you're holding a lot of bitcoin let me let me explain in, in in very clear language over here we have been making a big move up so when we get a pullback or a retrace eth will probably also retrace so it will also it's now at what is it it's now at 25 26 so maybe we will come back to the 24 23 22 maybe even 2000 i really don't know it depends on how big the pullback is but if the pullback will come and you suppose you're a leverage trader and you want to long you're very bullish on the crypto markets and you think that yeah, we're going up we're going up everything's going up instead of long bitcoin if this thing will reach those levels over here that i'm pointing out i think as a trader i would i would rather long ethereum then i would long bitcoin or if i would be holding a lot of bitcoin at this regions over here at 0.04748 i would rather hold flip my bitcoin into eth than i would hold bitcoin because also so it, it means it's both sides if bitcoin would would if bitcoin would drop down 
Suppose that this candle comes down to the, to the degree zone over here at support levels, at the 0 0.48 regions, and Bitcoin would drop down. There is a very, very high probability that when this thing finds support and starts going up, your losses on, uh, on, on Bitcoin will be bigger than your losses on your ETH bag. And that's how to think as a smart investor and as a will and as a trader. So you have to keep that in mind. Suppose I want to, suppose I want to short Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is at resistance levels over here and I want to short it. Let me, let me, well, where's, where's my chart? Where's my chart? Where's my chart? Why does it show me? Suppose Bitcoin, just like shared, and I want to short it. I would rather when I see, when I see the ETH BTC pair would be over here somewhere. I would rather short Bitcoin than I would short Ethereum. Because I think that if this thing hits support, the gains on my short of Bitcoin will be bigger than ETH because Bitcoin would drop much harder than Ethereum does. So that's how to read the ETH BTC pair. So I, I hope that that is also very clear. Uh, let me go back to the NASDAQ chart. So the NASDAQ chart is very important and I hope you guys have learned something from this vid. If you like the vid, I'm going to ask it again and again and again and again. Please push that like because the, the team is working very hard to get my YouTube channel a bit more viewers and a bit more communities to reach a lot more retailers from getting wrecked. So like the vid, leave a comment for the algorithm and please share the vid as much as you can. And I'm getting some suggestions about doing Dutch vids. Uh, There's also one guy that told me, can you please make vids in Arabic? I told the word Arabic. I can translate them, maybe translations in Arabic. I will see if I can do that because there is a very, very big Arabic community following me from which I didn't know, by the way. But guys, push on the like and have a nice one and thank you and bye-bye.